welcome to this part of our training where we are going to see and uh, manipulate two most important and the most used functions in ms excel this function help us to search for information in a database easily let's look at it here we have a database or an information of uh, zeros for particular products for different months january to december and we have the different products being flash disks keyboard computer and these are the zeros figures for the different months now if for example we want to know how many units were sold maybe in, in june how many keyboards were sold in the month of june it is kind of going to be difficult but if it's simple data or this data is quite small we can easily trace it what if you have thousands of lines thousands of rows thousands of columns having some informations how do you get to it we can use these functions in order to get the zeros value easily or any information easily so from here if i type for example the item computer and uh, you see automatically it's going to give me the sales of computer in the month of april this is warrior 14. if i come to the month of april computer you can see 114 if i change month we say june you see the sales for june will automatically appear this is a very powerful tool in ms excel these two functions are indexed and match in this video we are going to see how to use them and how it can be a substitute to the vlookup function so for us to understand these functions we are going to take simple examples and we will merge them and you will see how powerful it is let's start with indexed index returns the value of a cell in an intersection between a row and a column given a range the sentence will kind of be difficult to assimilate let's go directly to an example so i'll say equal to index so when i take index they will see two arguments i'm going to use the first argument let's say i want to search for the sales of keyboard in the month of july so this cell in the month of july this 150 so if i want to search the sales for the month of july of keyboard keyboard in this case and uh, july on this way so i'll start by choosing the array the array is the area where i want to make my search so the area is going to be the whole table okay so the row number remember i'm looking for the sales of july for keyboard the row number is that of this month because these are rows row 30 row 40 row 41 row 42 these are rows so i'm going to count the number of rows which is in this table so here this row one two three four five six seven so the month of july is in the seventh row of our table that is why i'm going to write here seven because i want to get the value of sales for the month of july more precisely for keyboard so I've chosen the row where it should come and look for the information. I get to the column number. So where on which column do I want to carry or detect the information? Here yeah, in this table I've selected the most, the first column, flash, second column, disk, third column, keyboard, fourth column so i want to get information from keyboard which is the foot column so here i write four 
and I close bracket and I click on enter you can see for the month of July we have we have sales of keyboard for the month of July being 150 and you can see it has automatically appeared here so it validates the description which says that it returns the value in a cell intersection between the row and the column given a range so that's it for the index function so let's look at the match function and for the match function we're going to take two examples so if i take equal to match and they say match returns the position or the relative position of an item in an array that match just a specific value in a specific order so match will give us a column number based on the information we have so the first argument is the lookup value meaning the match functions looks up to a value and give us where that value is located in the database like it gives the index number or it gives the column number or it gives the row number where this information is located if for example i am looking from this months or the row number of the month of july so at the level of lookup value i will be looking for july i put it in inverted comma open and close because it is a word i get to the lookup array where do i want to look for july i want to look for july between this range of cells which are months i get to the next argument here we are talking of this less than or the exact match and the greater than match so if we are talking about letters or words we cannot talk of a less than match a less than match will simply look into the information and if it does not for example if here i had a figure like for example um 149 the less than match will come for example if i was looking informations relating to the sales of keyboards the less than value will look for and match with a value which is less than but close to the figure 149 and the greater will look for a figure which is close to 149 but greater so when we're talking about value or words we cannot have a less than or a greater than match it is more likely to have an exact match so i'm going to put zero to call for an exact match so when i close this bracket you will see we're looking for the month of july and july is in the seventh column of the array so if we count one two three four five six seven so the seventh column in this array contains the were july if we take the second example and we are instead searching for the items which are between flash this keyboard computer so if i take equal to match and the lookup value is instead disk for example so i'll put in inverted commas open and close disk I just make sure that it is written exactly the same way it is written up here so the lookup array is going to be instead these columns so and I want an exact match I close bracket disk is located in the second column in this array that I have chosen is one two so it is located in the second column so the match just relocates 
the cell number given a specific array and in a specific order now the question is how do we use all of these to come up with such a result where you just have to make your search disk and uh, specify a month then the sales value automatically appear so let's get to it here we we'll have the item we we'll have the place where we give our item so yeah we can put either flash or so i'm going to put for example disk here we have the month the month we are looking for in terms of search so i'm going to put october and here we have the sales value so this is what we want to automate we want the sales value to appear on its own so i will start by using the index number because the index number is that which is going to bring us that value just like we saw here it is that which is going to bring us the value we are looking for so the array or the area where we want to make our search is this table we go next to the row number yeah we could just give a row number maybe seven or five just like we did in this example but the issue here is if we specify already a row number being seven and a column number being for example four it will be constant it will it won't change the information won't change it will always for example this one it will always have 150 it will not be possible for us to give or have a different result until we come in the formula and change it time and over time and over so we are going to use in this case the match function which is going to automatically detect or get the column and the row number so i'm going to put for the row number remember the row number we are talking of rows so we are talking of these months we are talking of months so i'm going to use match in the place of row number i'm going to use the match function and the lookup array or the lookup area the lookup value sorry we will be looking up to the month of october or the month which will be written in this cell in cell d 56 we'll be looking up to this cell in this case we are not going to put directly october in our function if we put october in our function it will be stagnant it won't change but these cells will be able to change the value which is inside so i select this cell which will represent the month i am looking for i take the lookup array the lookup array where do i want to look for this month it is between this range of values so i'm going to let it be an exact match and i close bracket to conclude with the match function so when i'm done with the math excel reminds me that it's true you were working on match but your principal function is index you are just done with the row number so what about the column number so if i get to the column number the column number in this case are these items flash this keyboard computer so i'm still going to use the match function in order to get the column number for the item which is written in this cell so i'm going to use match the lookup value i'll be looking up to the value that will be written in cell d55 you can see here i wrote disk right so instead of me writing disk directly i use this cell so that i can be able to modify what is in this cell easily instead of me modifying it in the formula so i take the lookup array i'm looking for the disk or the item in this range of values and uh, i'm going to let it be an exact match i close bracket 
so yeah i just close bracket for the match function and i'm coming back to the index where i'll have to close for the second time in order to conclude with the index function so now when i press enter you can see that for the month of october we have disk how many units were sold in the month of october for disk it's let's check on it we have october and we have disk all right we can see it's not actually correct so let's come and check on our function we say all right all right all right so the air the array the array should be the area or the sales area the area where we want to get our data so yeah i selected from a 39 containing already the matching values so normally it's supposed to start from b meaning just from b39 to e50 so i'm going to change this from b39 to e50 just this area not including the flash not including the months so here we can see it's correct we can have disk for the month of october is this value if i change for example um flash and you can see it's giving 1200 for the month of october if i choose july you can see everything is changing automatically so you see this is a substitute to the vlookup function where the vlookup function permitted us to make just one search and get the sales number but with the match and the index number it helps us to specify an advantage for for example depending on the item and the month where it was done you will not really see how significant it is because the data is quite small and you can just get it from your naked eyes but just imagine you have thousands of lines that you want to get the information of computer or the number of sales of computer sold in the month of december in the month of october it could be according to different dates how will you get to it the index and the match function it's perfect for this thank you for watching this video i hope you appreciate and see you in our next tutorial Thank you.